I'm going to talk about the legacy of the Tokyo trial and uh, Asian uh, ownership on this issue. And uh, as Ms. Mao Xiao uh, said in her opening speech, this year is the 70 years anniversary for the delivery of the Tokyo judgment. Last week, we all speakers came to Nuremberg to attend a very good you know, uh, conference on this very issue. I believe that uh, you know, the uh, Tokyo judgment and Tokyo trial is really the origin and the foundation of the contemporary uh, 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 international uh, criminal law. And uh, the jurisprudence of the Tokyo trial sets a very brilliant uh, precedent for the later international tribunals. For instance, the ICTY, ICTR, even you know, the ICC, as well as the Sierra Leone Tribunal and the Cambodia Tribunals. It touches you know, many aspects of the law. Uh, for instance, you know, in the jurisprudence of the uh, uh, Tokyo trial, you know, it uh, deals with media, the crime against the peace. So the Tokyo Tribunal, following the precedence of the Nuremberg trial, uh, the principle of the uh, justice prevails over the principle of the non lam crime city leg, which is regarded as uh, domestic you know, legal norms at that time, at that time. But now here, it's become an international recognized principle in international criminal uh, uh, justice. Uh, another issue is about the conspiracy, and the conspiracy is the heart of the prosecution's case to nail down all those, you know, uh, Japanese you know, criminals, especially those civilian you know, uh, leaders who are not the physical participation in the, uh, uh, who are not, uh, who do not, you know, uh, participate physically in the uh, uh, crime scene, and the. Uh, and the, uh, uh, and the uh, uh, Professor Yuma mentioned the, the uh, superior responsibility, especially for the civilian, you know, uh, leaders on that. And the, uh, I believe that you know the the Tokyo trial added some extra elements on that. That his uh, superior has to report what whatever he learned about the atrocities to the his superior, so as to to prosecute or invest, investigate you know, those crimes, or he could resign from his post. And the, uh, in the uh, jurisprudence of the ICTR, in Akayesu case, the trial chamber specifically cited the judgment of the Tokyo trial so that to show that uh, the uh, criminal responsibilities for the uh, civilian leaders as a superior is a part of the customary international law already. Uh, we also mentioned the sexual assault and the sexual assault as a fact um, uh, in the Tokyo trial, the uh, comfort of women, the, uh, 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 the uh, sexual slavery uh, are not mentioned, are not entertained in those trials, which is a big problem, you know, for the uh, 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 Tokyo trial. And uh, unfortunately, the, uh, the, uh, the rape or sexual assault uh, was not crime for a very long time, uh, even if in the Geneva uh, Conventions. And uh, only until the uh, establishment of the International Criminal Court in their statute, that is the uh, Article 8, Paragraph 2, B, uh, 12, and the E, 6, rape, sexual slavery, enforced the prosecution, forced the pregnancy, was first time become a crime in the statute of our international uh, uh, tribunals. And uh, it, that could be apl uh, applicable both to the international armed conflict as well as to the non-international armed conflict. Uh, the immunity of the head of state is also an issue in the Tokyo trial. Uh, as we know, that the uh, emperor of, uh, uh, of Japan was not prosecuted or indicted or put on trial at the time, but evidence has shown that he somehow you know, involved in those you know, aggressive wars. That is the, uh, uh, the, the, the big you know, 
uh, uh, setbacks for the uh, 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 Tokyo trial because of the political reasons. Uh, but later on in the ICTY, we, we changed completely, you know, those, you know, of practice. Uh, Milosevic was the, uh, uh, the president of the Serbia. He was indicted. And uh, Karadzic, you know, was, you know, put on the trial, you know, by Judge Guan here, you know, uh, uh, and, uh, and other, you know, uh, leaders. In the uh, Rwanda tribunals, the uh, former prime minister, Kabanda, was, uh, you know, uh, indicted and uh, uh, convicted. He pleaded guilty, you know, on that. In the Asalian tribunal, the, uh, 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 the Taylor, you know, uh, Charles Taylor was convicted and uh, sentenced <clears throat> to the 40 years imprisonment. Uh, of course, there are some criticisms on the practice of the Tokyo trials, uh, but uh, however, you know, uh, we believe that it is not fair to use the present uh, standards to apply to what happened uh, 70 years ago, because at that time, the international criminal law, especially the procedure law, is at a very rudimental stage uh, on that. Uh, it is my view that the states in Asia should claim regional um, ownership, you know, to the uh, Tokyo trial. Uh, uh, well, what I mean by the ownership, I mean that, you know, the state in the Asian region was not only to get the message from the Tokyo trial, but also to have the full access to the records and engage in the in-depth research of the jurisprudence of the Tokyo trial and absorb its jurisprudence into their national legal system and into their judicial practice. Uh, I must, you know, confess that the situation in Asia is not that, uh, you know, encouraging, you know, at this moment. If you open a newspaper and, uh, and look at the maps, you know, it is not difficult to find that, uh, you know, that Asia is the most uh, you know, volatile and unstable region a region in the world. Uh, in this region, we know that armed conflicts never stopped, uh, let alone the uh, Israel and uh, Palestinian conflict, which lasted uh, about uh, 70 years. You know, the area is also infected with the terrorist activities, such as, uh, you know, Bin Laden, Al Qaeda, the, uh, the ISIS, and the fundamentalism, you know, uh, which was rampant in this uh, uh, region. And uh, of course, the anti terrorist war has been going on for almost uh, 20 years that is concentrated in Asian areas. While the destructive weapons, chemical weapons, and nuclear weapons um, are now only, up to now, are only used in Asia, since most of the nuclear states in the world are in this region uh, there, especially in the Far East. We still could have the uh, threat of the using nuclear weapons you know, uh, not long ago. The violation of the human rights, such as the deportation of forcible transport populations, enforced disappearance of the persons, widespread and systematic murders, which may constitute crimes against humanity, I'm afraid to say that are uh, very common, you know, in Asia, uh, in this continent. And the, uh, and the, uh, 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 what is more, the awareness of the international justice in Asian countries is still worrying and the grimy. Frankly speaking, uh, as I mentioned at the beginning, we had uh, the commemoration conference in Nuremberg. I'm very excited to participate in that you know, conference, but on the other hand, I feel a little bit sad because it should be held in Asia first. Yeah. I hope you know, the uh, Asian countries could have some kind of activities you know, in the rest of the, the, uh, the year on that. Among all those you know, contracting parties to the ICC statute in Asia has the least you know, uh, participating states, you know, there. And the big countries uh, with the biggest population remained outside of this Ukraine, despite uh, Judge Sun's, you know, efforts in the past you know, years. 
And uh, for instance, such as China, India, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, those are big countries, but they still remain outside the schemes of the ICC. Uh, mm, and what's more, an Asian country, an Asian state recently declared the withdrawal from the uh, ICC. You know. uh, so so uh, another thing is that, you know, as a result, the Asian states were underrepresented in the, all the international criminal uh, tribunals. You know, I heard that you know there's only 19, you know, Asian staffs, you know, in the uh, huh? as the party parties. Okay. Yeah, uh, in, uh, uh, in ICC and uh, in the mixed uh, where I am working in, I think there's only one, you know, Asian staff. Yeah, staff from the Asian legal research, which is you know greatly underrepresented. Uh, underrepresented. But however, this may provide more opportunities for the Asian students of the international law and the non-governmental organizations to bring their ability to the full. Um, a lot of work has to do uh, lobbying, uh, hold scenarios, uh, conferences, and other activities. I think most important is to assist the state in the reason to put the humanity as the ultimate value of the community of mankind. And, uh, and rather than indulging in the power and the violence, by descending of the knowledge of the international humanitarian law, international criminal law, and the international humanitarian law, the students should be able to catch up with the latest development of the jurisprudence of the international cr uh, criminal law. Uh, there's uh, one thing I think at this moment I could uh, pro promise to the young students in Asia and the scholars. That is, there are plenty of the room to bring one's talent to the full in the fields of the international criminal law in Asia. I'm quite sure that the lessons learned and the practice identified will provide a valuable experience, especially to the Asian states. Thank you.